is up guys it is the turtle girl welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be giving you the cost breakdown of my 40 gallon turtle tank because y'all want to know how expensive is it really to set up a turtle tank so we're gonna just go through everything inside of my tank and i'm just gonna tell you how much i paid and also give you some budget tips along the way because i know i like to save money <laughs> you probably like to save money so let's go ahead and take a look Okay, so we didn't really go anywhere. We literally moved three feet. But first off, we've got my tank. So this is a 40 gallon breeder. I got it at the Petco dollar per gallon sale. So I only spent about $50 plus tax for the actual tank itself. For my stand, and surprisingly a lot of people ask about this, but this is an Edsall muscle rack, which is like the metal shelving from Lowe's. And I paid, I think $80 for this. And it's actually a five tier set. So this is only half of it. So I guess maybe it only cost me like $50. But in any case, I don't know that I would actually recommend this. If you go look at the comments where I set this up, there's a lot of people who think this is kind of sketch. Frankly, I think it's kind of sketch. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Like, do you see that? It kind of wiggles. So take that how you will. Although any kind of aquarium stand, if you like buy it from the pet store or something, it'll run you anywhere from 50 to $80. However, if you build your own out of cinder blocks or something like that, it might only cost you 20 bucks because you only need maybe, I don't know, eight cinder blocks and those cinder blocks cost you $2 and then you'd need some wood. And I will say this rack didn't even fit the tank. So I had to cut a piece of plywood anyway. So keep that in mind when thinking about stand. Also, while we're here, I thought I'd point out my basking area. This particular above tank basking area would run you about $50. However, you can totally DIY your own. You guys have seen my plastic bin basking area that I've done before. Literally will cost you $8. It's out of a plastic tote. So easy. If you are looking to save money, go for that. And then those floating basking docks, those will probably run you anywhere from $20 to $30. So that's the basking area. And then one of the things you cannot compromise on is your lighting. So for your basking lights, I budgeted $50 and that is for the two lights that I have up there, my heat and UVB plus my fixture. And remember that these bulbs are going to be a running cost because you will eventually have to replace them. The UVB for sure every six months and then the heat bulbs will eventually fail and wear out. So those also have to be replaced. This is something you cannot compromise on because it's so vital to the health of your turtle. As for actual aquarium lights and illuminating the tank itself, I've got an LED light that actually clips on the edge here. I think that was maybe $20 for me. And then I also have another light, which is also about $20. If you get nicer ones, you might spend even more than that. Um, and that's just for illuminating the tank. Now, if you're worried that I'm throwing out all these numbers and you're starting to pull out your calculator, don't worry, I'm gonna give you a grand total for all of this at the end. One for the kind of expensive side of things and one if you choose to go more of a budget route. So you'll have that grand total at the end of the video. It's okay, this is not gonna be math in your brain. Don't worry about it. This video is here for you to relax and learn about turtles, okay. With that being said, let's move on to the actual things within the tank itself. Alrighty, so I know you guys have seen this tank plenty of times before, but let's go through all the equipment we have in here. So first up, filter. This is an AquaClear 70. I believe it's about $50 on Amazon right now, and that works perfect. Oh my gosh, look at him. Hello. Could you, could you, could you like stop, please? We're trying to film a video here. I know, I know you like to be the center of attention. Um, but yeah, the AquaClear 70, that ran me $50. Filter is another thing you really don't want to skimp on. And then you've also got your heater, which is also going to be really important. I swear, if he bites me, please don't. Please leave me alone. Uh, he has become a biter recently, and it is not cool. Not cool, Hoku. Not cool. As I was saying, heaters are gonna run you about $30. The thing to know about heaters is that they can often be kind of unreliable. So you may or may not have to switch them out and get a new one, but that is how much my heater costed. And of course, just to remind you guys, links to all this stuff will be in the description to my aquatic turtle kit for all the different equipment that I use. And Hoku's being really, really fun right now. Hello. Okay, moving on, we have substrate. So in here, we actually have crushed coral for Hoku because he's a diamondback terrapin. So I believe, look at him, look at him. He's trying to bite me. I'm telling you, he literally became a biter recently and it's so not cool. But I spent about $30 in total for my substrate. If you go with aquarium sand from the pet store, you would probably end up paying about that same amount, $30. But let me just tell you, if you're gonna go for sand, 
please, 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 please just go get pool filter sand. It's literally $15 for a 50 pound bag, which should be a perfect amount for a 40 gallon tank like this. And if you have a bigger tank, you can just get two. But pool filter sand, it looks great, it's cheap, and it gets the job done. So please, if you want to save money anywhere, just save it on substrate. Do not buy stupid expensive aquarium sand from the pet store. Pool filter sand works great. Like I literally, I love pool filter sand so much. It's what I have in my 75 gallon and I cannot recommend it enough. So with that all out of the way, basically all we have left to talk about is decorations. This can be a tricky one. Some people can go totally ham and spend hundreds of dollars on decorations. For me personally, I would budget about $50. That would allow me to buy, you know, a couple pieces of wood or maybe like some fun plants or planters or something like that. But really, if you have time on your hands, go take a hike, buy a body of fresh water and see if you can find some pieces to take home. So for instance, like these pieces of wood right here, like this one and this one, and that big long one in the back and then some of the ones in the corner, those were actually collected from the wild this spring I'm hoping to go out and film a video like that where I collect some stuff from the wild so leave a thumbs up if you're excited for that but you literally can go and collect stuff for free just make sure you sanitize it and then for my rocks you can go and buy aquarium rocks but those are also pretty expensive they often charge by the pound and as you can imagine rocks weigh a lot so when you're charging by the pound and even if it's only three dollars a pound that can add up quickly when you got rocks so for my tip with rocks is you can actually go to a local gravel yard and see if they would let you fill a five gallon bucket for a small fee i know at mine that they only charged me two dollars and fifty cents for a big five gallon bucket full of rocks. So that's the rocks that you see here. And then also some of those rocks are in the tank downstairs. So that five gallon bucket was enough for rocks for both this tank and another tank. So see if that's an option, see if there's any gravel yards, try to make sure that the rocks are inert. But like I said, I'm gonna make another video on that. And that's a whole other topic. Also wanted to add, use price match to your advantage, especially for decorations and equipment and stuff. If you're shopping at chain pet stores, a lot of times they'll match their website price, which is sometimes 30% or even 50% cheaper than it is on the retail price inside the store. So always check. So for instance, like this piece of wood in the store might cost me $25 but I remember that I only paid like $8 for it so even for decorations and equipment see if you can price match and that's another way you can save money also one final optional thing this is not included in my little budget but I will tell you I think I spent $13 for this wave maker on Amazon I will have it linked in that aquatic turtle kit this wave maker is amazing I don't have it on right now because it makes some noise but it's so nice because it creates more flow and circulation and it pushes up all this debris that normally rests on the bottom and pushes it into the filter. So that is a huge, huge, huge cleaning tip. So that is what I paid for my whole setup and all of my things. Okay, so now for the grand totals, the moment you've all been waiting for, how much would a setup like this cost? Now, if you lean to the more expensive side of things and you prefer to use your resources rather than your time, so you're not DIYing as much, it's gonna run you about $450 using some of the numbers we discussed. Now, that might sound like a lot, but the thing to remember is that pets are expensive. They're gonna take resources, they're gonna take time. And so it's not just this little $20 turtle you can just pick up all of a sudden impulsively and only spend $30 to figure out how to take care of it. These are animals and they have needs that need to be fulfilled, so it's gonna cost you some money. Now, if you lean to the more budget side of things, it can be a bit more reasonable. On the low end, it might run you $250. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that there are just some things with a turtle tank that you cannot really cut costs on. Things like your lighting, your equipment, so your filters and heaters, those are all things that are really essential to your turtle's health and it's a lot harder to find alternatives for that, but when there's a will, there is a way. If you really want a turtle that bad, just use your resources wisely, use your time, find alternatives, and you can have a great setup like this. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye. Also, fish for thought is the bomb.com. It was funny because I was actually looking through some of my old videos and some of my old comments, and I realized that Chris and I have been watching each other since we both had like under 100 subscribers. So we're like the OG homies, I'm just saying.